I think uh, in looking, uh, it's, it's a very difficult thing to do, to, to actually find a way of verbally describing um, how important the, the, the way a woman adorned herself and carried herself within the traditions that I've looked at in my own culture where certain historical traditions have stopped stopped by the time I was a teenager but from a close observation of what I knew of my mother she actually reached a certain age and then they would get um, they, they, they would reach what's the word they would trans be transformed into the next age gradation system where to get from a child you know, you, you had to get initiated. And, and although we did not have circumcision in my society, we, it seems like they had this uh, tradition of scarification. And I remember my mother's body, front and back, the, f the, the front, the tummy was decorated in, in uh, a diamond shape. I think, no, the front was very round shape scarification that started from the belly and went kind of uh, all round and then the back was uh, a diamond shape and you know it was very raised of course because they used um, blades or whatever they used that raised the, the, the skin because it didn't I presume it didn't heal but it it really was, it actually was very tactile. And the whole body was very tactile. And I'm not sure, she didn't live in long enough for me to ask her. But I remember people saying, you know, sort of people admiring it. Because obviously when we went to the river, people bathed, you know, with their bodies exposed. But I remember actually men and young, you know, and, and, and boys admiring girls who had not just the scarification, but they had a whole string of beads on their waist as well, which again gave weight, you know, as opposed to the West where you wanted to be as thin as a rake. You know, this whole voluptuousness was celebrated. So the, the, the fact that they were admiring the scarification raised on the body was an addition of a three-dimensional manifestation of beauty. Uh, I don't think my mother had it on the face. But I also think it was an identification, a tribal identification, a, a, a group identification, because each design differed from each group. But what intrigued me is why men didn't have it. <laughs>